Welcome to episode 9 of the uh, motor and battery builds. Uh, today it's going to be a bit of a pot today, it's Sunday, uh, uh, so I'm just going to put a little bit of the electric components on the board uh, as well as see if I can figure out the, uh, the battery packs in terms of the bus bars. Um, so yeah, let's give it a go. So as you can see, I've replaced the previous uh, bolts, M4 bolts, with uh, A4 stainless steel bolts, and I put plenty of Sika Flex on there, just to make sure that there is no corrosion going forward. To move the actual battery packs forward, I have done some cable work. So I have added a cable for each of the uh, 14 positive uh, connection points and I've labeled them uh, power 1 to 14. And they will then go into the uh, junction box down here. So power number 1 or ne uh, positive 1 will go in here. And I've also joined the, uh, the actual balancing cables so that both the balancing cable and the BMS cable uh, joins into one, so those have been uh, joined up as well. So big thank you to KM4504, who recommended uh, 16AWG as the cable size, which was a, a great size to work with. It's not too small and it should take, take the load. Um, and also for confirming that he has joined these cables in the past, and he had uh, no problems in doing so. So I've done that for the other pack as well, as you can see. The reason for not connecting all of this to the junction box is that I will paint this uh, aluminium backboard in a epoxy paint before I actually do the final um, assembly. So um, I've leave it off for now until I've painted the backboard and then I can uh, connect it properly. I'm just going to finalize the last of the uh, connection point, which is the positive 14. So I'll do that now.
put a little uh, diagram up here, connection diagram, so it's easy for me to start to connect the cables. One question, uh, I have realized that I'd need something called a DC contactor, uh, and I think it is preventing arcing. I don't really understand that bit, but I've seen setups without it, and I've seen setups with it. So if anyone has any experience about these DC contactors and can let me know uh, why they're needed, then grateful if you um, drop me a comment. Okay, motors now connected to the motor controllers. So this one goes to this one, and this one goes to that one. I had to flick this one uh, the other side because it was sitting with the uh, contact points on this side, and the cables were then on top of that contact point, so it wasn't very good. So I swept it around, and these are now free for new connections. This is what I believe is called a DC buck converter and it will convert my setup from 48 volts down to 12 volts so I can run the uh, fans and also the water pump which runs out of, uh, of 12 volts. Uh, I've got two of these because I think uh, I'm running two pumps on one side uh, as well as two sets of fans. Uh, and the same thing on the other side, so I think one of these wouldn't handle all of it. So uh, let's put them on the wall. So they are now on the wall. I'm pretty sure I will have to move things around as I go along, but at least it gives me an idea of, you know, how big they are. And, and uh, as I go along, I will find the best placement for it. This is just a temporary setup. When this goes on the boat, um, it will be set up in a, in, a, in a different way. It's just that I don't know exactly where these parts will go on the boat yet. So it's, um, it's pointless for me to start to uh, try to figure that out. So I just want to make sure that everything's working and then I can figure out the best way to, uh, to mount them. So we have uh, some 12 volt pumps. These comes in different versions, uh, some drawing less amperage than, than others or less watts. So I've gone for the ones that are the most uh, least drawing ones, but still gives enough flow. Uh, can't remember the actual rate right now. The rated power is 25 watts and 3.2 liters per minute. It's the flow.
So the water pumps are now up and the idea is I've left some space in the middle here for a three uh, way 48 volt um, bridge. So I'll have two plus and minus coming in. So two of them uh, that then goes out to separate uh, electricity for each of the motor controllers. Um, I've left some space here for the uh, the water reservoirs. So probably one water reservoir there, one here, one here and one here. Might be too close but we'll see. And here on the sides the uh, fans will go, the uh, water cooler fans. And the same thing on this side. To uh, move the uh, project forward I've ordered some needed parts. Two DC contactors, 48 volts, 400 amps, as well as four water reservoirs, one each for the uh, motor controllers and one each for the actual, actual motors themselves. I've ordered four flow and temp meters that will allow me to see that uh, I have a flow of water and what the temperature is of that water, which is helpful. And I've also ordered four buttons allowing me to turn the temp meter off for when I'm not interested in reading because I don't want that to draw power when not needed. Big thank you to Marianne for uh, sending me the uh, print files for this awesome modular hippo logo statue. Um, I uh, printed it in black, but I'll probably print it in uh, the original blue as well at some point uh, to make it look even cooler. Thank you for watching episode 9. If this was the first time you watched this, uh, this channel, then uh, I'll stick the uh, first episode of the motor build up here somewhere so that you can uh, have a look. Uh, if you are interested in seeing more, please subscribe. If you have any questions or if you want to leave any comments around improvements or things I could do different, then just stick them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.